Greetings, family, and welcome to another edition of KSOL Black Talk Radio, the new black media. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd, 2019. Well, by now, you guys have seen the videos of this little degenerate named Nick Sandman, and he was interviewed by the Today Show. Of course, they gave him a platform to white explain his racist acts um, there at the Lincoln Memorial when the Native Americans were having a um, rally there or an event. This Covington Catholic School, it appears that they were waiting for their bus um, at that location. Now, why they weren't waiting near where the buses picked them up is a whole nother story how they ended up at the event and why they ended up chanting so loud and why they ended up being so obnoxious towards the whole event where they got all this attention and now he gets a platform on the Today Show to white explain his actions. I have a major major problem with this but even more so I watched a video from um, Professor Black Truth yesterday and he was talking about this in that video. I don't know if he published it yesterday or not. I just happened to watch it yesterday and he made mention of the fact how the media is trying to turn this into the black Israelites. How they are at the center of this controversy when in fact they are not. But I wanted to make mention of this segment here, this interview, how they claim that the his Israel the Hebrew Israelites are now um a group that's growing more militant. They use that word militant. And I just want you guys to know that when they say claim make claims like that, just remind them that we don't have a military. So there's no possible way we can be militant. You guys can use those clever words all you want but the reality is unless we have a military there's no way we can be militant so you guys need to use a different set of choice words to describe our behavior it's absolute bullshit um, and it's what Trump calls fake news when you report things of this nature black media is going to expose your shenanigans each and every time we have the opportunity to do so we're going to expose your racist news reporting especially when it's biased and it's not balanced what would have been a balanced interview here was if you had this little degenerate here but you also had others mainly from the black Hebrew Israelites, as a matter of fact, since you guys are going to bring them into the discussion and blanketly put words to describe them and you don't even know anything about them, um, you should have had them on your panel also if you wanted to do like a balanced reporting. But we know how the Today Show is, how Good Morning America is. And by the way, on this show, at the very end, um, cause I'm not going to go through this video cause you know how they get, you know how they are, how they, what the things that they claim, especially when we make very valid points, they try to go through all their little tricks and shit and say that, oh, you're doing this and you're promoting it. No, we're in fact telling the truth. So at the very end, there's a black man that's a part of the today show. And sure enough, he sat there and was caping. For this little white boy talking about, oh, I'm just glad that they gave him, he had an opportunity to speak. Bitch! Yeah, I'm talking about the black man in this segment. If you guys don't stop caping for white people and their racist actions, we're going to constantly expose you to. And so, yes, I'm calling this black man a part of this show. Yes, I'm calling him a little bitch for being that way. He should... But listen, if you're going to sit there on the Today Show, keep your mouth shut instead of caping for some races. Now, in this interview, it's funny because the title of this says the uh, Make America Great Teens Today Show interview was an embarrassment. 
Now, it's funny because it probably is an embarrassment because you get to hear all the white splaining of his actions. And you can see all these kids, they're not there to be respectful. And yet, he's sitting here saying on this interview, Oh, um, I was trying to be respectful, and I wish I walked away, and... It, just shut up. Just shut it up. You guys, are, you guys make yourselves look so bad. And so here it is where they're talking about the black Hebrew Israelites. Here's what they're saying right here. Watch what they say. Watch, watch. Growing more militant. Can you believe this shit? Ugh. And now he's talking about how they're shouting homophobic, racist, uh, derogatory comments at them, at the white boys. But they're sitting there being racist themselves. I can't believe white media, how you guys constantly do this. You constantly do this. Constantly. And yeah, a lot of you are incest babies. And a lot of you are child molesters. A lot of you are rapists who get a slap on the wrist. So when they were yelling these things at you while you guys were being disrespectful yourselves, you probably deserved every bit of it. And so, yeah, Professor Black Truth was true and correct. They're trying to make this into a Hebrew Israelites as if the he Hebrew Israelites are doing what these white boys are doing. Look at them. They're sitting there yelling and trying to drown out the black Hebrew Israelites. They're doing all the most scandalous racist shit themselves, but he's trying to white explain it away with his little good boy next door look. No, we know exactly who you are. And as Alyssa, I forget her name, but as this actress said, those Make America Great hats, they're the new white hoods. They are the new white hoods. So, for those of you who want to hear this interview, I'll leave the um, the URL in the description, but I surely didn't want to play his white splaining away at all. You should hear the crap that they're saying, though. It's disgusting. And those of us in black media, we're not going to let you get away with white splaining and spewing your hatred and your shit. We're not going to allow you to explain it away without us giving a real factual uh, analysis of what we actually witness. So, you guys can hang it up. This is KSOL, Black Talk Radio, the new black media, bringing you another video. Hoping you leave your opinion. If you want, like, share, and subscribe. This is just crazy. It's interesting when she asked him, why didn't he walk away? He's sitting there like I said, just doing all this white splain and it's so pathetic. Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'll leave the URL. This this is just so disgusting. But again, they're trying to make this they're trying to make more of this about the black Hebrew Israelites. Be forewarned of what the white media is trying to do. Be forewarned. I see and hear exactly what this racist white apparatus is doing. Let's not fall for it, black people. Fight back. Fight back. Let's expose these evil, racist people for who they are. If the shoe fits, wear it. Uh, let me just say this. Nick Sandman, you're pretty disgusting. And I find it very disgusting that Donald Trump would sit there and tweet about this and saying that these little white boys they've been treated unfairly you guys remember the um the uh, uh part five the i forget their the actual name right now because i'm really just fucking disturbed by this stupidity here of what i'm saying but you remember the part five brothers who trump tried to blame and then he's sitting here saying that these white boys are being treated unfairly trump if you don't go sit your ass down to why don't you go give your friend Jerry Epstein some more uh, kudos with his pedophilia ass since that's who you seem to want to support, Trump. So before I end this, let me put this in a little bit more perspective. There was a handful of the black Hebrew Israelites and you saw the huge crowds of black, I mean of these white uh, kids who were sitting there shouting and acting like animals, okay? Y okay, now... They try to claim that, oh, we, we felt threatened by the black Hebrew Israelites. If you don't go, shut up. These, these white boys are just so fucking, 
just just ridiculous. It's just, this has just gotten so fucking disgusting. Anyways, that's just my two cents on this. You tell me yours. Peace out. See what I mean? That's that's your president who supports Jeffrey Epstein, the pedophile, the convicted pedophile. This is your president. I bet you these little racist punks won't try this again. I bet you these little racist punks, they're going to be thinking real long and hard of their next move of doing some bullshit like this. I bet you you'll think twice. You're going to still do what you do because you are what you are. It's in your DNA. And this little coon right here and this brother right here, he's sitting there, oh, I'm just glad they gave him a voice and I'm glad to hear from him finally. If you don't shut your ass up too, I'm so sick of these coons on these TV shows. I'm sick of hearing about, look at him, look at him. He's just disgusting, just disgusting. Anyways, I'm out. Oh, here he goes, doing his little white splaining for the white for white people. He's doing his white splaining. Black people, stop it. Just stop. Just disgusting. I'm out.